Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. We do uh, knitting type videos, fiber arts, anything on this channel. And today is another Tiffany's Yarn Corner where I just talk about all of my whips, the things I finished, uh, anything I've bought that's knitting related on this channel for the month of September. Bear with me, your girl tested positive about a week ago so that's why there was no video last week don't mind me if i'm a little loopy a little brain fogged but i really wanted to get a video out i'm not currently wearing any knitting stuff or piece today because it's just really hot it's just really hot here in vancouver and it makes no sense because it's october and usually october is like the spooky season and it, like the fall time you can like cozy up but no i'm sweating my butt off so finished pieces Dude, okay, also, I'm so sorry if I re-talk about things that I talked about last month because honestly, I don't even remember what I spoke about. I don't even know what happened this month. I don't even know time. Like, I don't know what's happening at all, so just bear with me. This is the first time I'm wearing makeup, and it's, I don't feel like a normal human being. My beautiful, beautiful boy. After my falls, I guess, planning video or things that I wanted to knit in in the fall time I was like dude I gotta finish a lot of these pieces a lot of these things that have just been like looming over my head and I think at the beginning of the month maybe I, this was like the guy that I was um getting her done we we're getting things done and we we appreciated that so this is my finished um Oslo sweater uh we haven't blocked it but oh my gosh look at how beautiful this navy is like, I'm actually obsessed, and I love how thick the collar is. Just, I don't, like, she did it right with this one. Because you can technically knit it with lace and a mohair instead of, like, a fingering. But, I mean, I guess you could do both. Anyway, I like the look of the lace. I like how chunky this neck is because it's double-folded. It's really nice, really simple. It looks beautiful on me. I'm not going to lie. Um, so I can't wait to... I guess weave in the ends, block it. I just haven't really had the time or energy because of, um, you know, you know? So uh, this guy I've been really pleased with and it has kind of sparked this newfound desire to finish things. Everything is about finish things. Everything is about, we're not buying any more yarn even though I do have yarn. We do have new yarn to show, but this was before I decided to ban myself from the yarn buying, um, and we'll show that later. Anyway, we finished this very happy, very beautiful. Makes me want to get more knitting for Olive, but I also can't because I'm on a yarn ban, so this is it for him. I will talk quickly about two pieces that I finished that I can't like show physically because I don't have them because they were gifts. Um, but I finished three Oslo hats. I took a cute little photo that I'm thinking about posting on Instagram, but like, we'll see, we'll see. Um, they're just like little hats um, for my baby cousins that uh, left a little bit of go. Uh, and it was really fun. I had so much fun knitting those Oslo hats with the mohair. Chef's kiss is everything. Um, they were really easy, really fast, because I was knitting, like, the baby and the toddler. And it, like, takes up, like, no yarn at all. So I was really happy doing that. It was really nice. It felt really nice to knit something for someone else. And I really want to make an also hat for myself as well as make an also hat for, uh, like, a baby. Like, I've been looking at a lot of baby clothes. It's not good. I'd be so close to buying all the petite knits baby clothes but we'll put it off for a moment and then I just wanted to talk and I guess show a picture because I thought it was so cute I took like a little photo it was so adorable of the piece that I gifted to Bethany I sent it out to her I don't know if she's received it yet so rip if this is the first time you're seeing it but I knit the festival sweater if you guys don't know again we will show we will show it here because she's so cute um, I knit it with uh, just some basic fingering weight yarn and some leftover uh, I guess gray yarn that I had and it was really nice I will say that I had to block it like if I didn't block it it would before blocking was horrible but after blocking it was so cute uh, weaving in the ends was not cute but like we're just gonna ignore that and yeah that one was that guy took me so long I don't know why but we ended up just like yoloing it doing the arms and it was fine. I was kind of sad because I wanted to do them on DP ends, like the arms, but 
my DBNs didn't come in time and I just really wanted to get it out to her. Um, so we just ended up doing Magic Loop and it was fine. I think doing Magic Loop with it wasn't like the worst thing, but I would have liked to have done it with the DPNs because I've kind of been getting into DPN. Also, the Oslo hats I did, the green one was the yarn that I had dyed in the Rit Dye video, and then I used two from Lavender Fiber Co., and then just some basic white mohair, and then mohair that I had dyed in the video. I don't, I don't know if anyone cares about that at all. The next finished piece, you guys are going to be literally so shook, because <laughs> I'm shook. Um, so last week, Patinit released the Moby sweater on, I think, the Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, because that was the day I had COVID, and that is when, um, we just started knitting. I had, like, all the yarn already prepared because I had unraveled my Wednesday sweater that I had knit, because I didn't like it. It was kind of just, like, I don't know. It was almost like the needle was too big for the mohair and the yarn so it just didn't look I guess how I wanted it to look on me so I was like okay maybe it'll look better as the Moby sweater so we unraveled it got it all ready and I bought the pattern right away we started knitting right away it was a wild ride I would go to sleep I would wake up cough a bit then I would knit with all the energy that I had <laughs> and then once we got tired I would just sleep um, honestly wild uh, and it's been about a week, I guess that's Thursday, I'm filming this on the Saturday, so it's like a week and a bit, but, um, we finished it? Like, I've never, like, timed myself to see how fast I could knit something, but this was really, <laughs> this was really something, um, to think that I knit this in like almost a week kind of scares me but then again I wasn't doing anything else like I was literally only knitting this sweater I didn't pick up anything else this is the only thing I was working on because usually I'm like someone who like dabbles in this one and then dabbles in this whip but this whip was like she was my one and only for that given moment uh, she was my COVID sweater <laughs> it's the only thing keeping me sane because, like, I didn't have enough energy to do anything. Like, I'm surprised I even have enough, had enough energy to work on this pattern. But, oh my flipping goodness. We haven't blocked it yet, as with, like, literally everything I have. And we haven't weaved in the, the guys. But, um, if you guys wanted to see how it looked like in my arms, here she is. Loki, there was a whole debacle. Um on my Instagram story. I don't know if you guys followed. If you are like crazy and obsessive like I am, I noticed a slight difference between the sample that Met used as well as the test knitters. So um, if you can see the cables here, they coil in inward for both sides. They go inward versus uh, going out, if that makes sense. I don't think that makes sense, but like I'll show, I'll show the difference, okay? Because there was a difference. And then I also noticed that the arm cables, they go inward on the sample, but on all the test knits, they all go outwards. I don't know why, but it really irked me. Like, it was really bothering me because I really loved uh, the petite knit version. I loved the look of it going in. I just feel like it gives just like a different vibe. I don't know why Cable could do that. I asked on the Instagram stories, kind of asking people like, am I insane? Like, should I just, you know, keep going and doing it how the pattern says? Or like, did Petite Knit do something different on the pattern? Like, was this intentional? I don't know. Should I just unfrog it and like get it to look exactly like hers? I don't know. Okay, if you are following, thank you. Yeah, so I asked. It was kind of like split, like 60-40. People were like, don't do it. Don't unravel. I was like, please, I have to. It's gonna like irk me forever. So thankfully, I had only gotten to about, I guess, before the armhole section. And so I had to essentially do yarn surgery. Um, maybe I could show pictures as well, but it was... Not bad. Not bad at all. Maybe it took me like less than an hour to do both of them. Um, all you really have to do is you just like knit like you would normally, uh, just with a smaller section. 
um, and so yeah we did that I only did it from the, for the front section so if you are following her pattern I did everything exactly the same except the front panels or like the front panel I just switched uh, I switched the cables as well as the arms I switched the cables to get her look uh, and so I asked my boyfriend because I wanted to see if he could tell the difference and if he could tell the difference then it was like something very uh, substantial and so it's it I, I gave him the pictures and it took him a couple minutes but he did see the difference so I was like okay girl I'm gonna email Patina so I emailed the contact person being like oh yo like was this intentional I'm just like curious cuz like uh, your girl had to figure out the hard way uh, and they responded and they told me that it was like a last-minute decision that they decided upon for the sample knits and for the written pattern so the written pattern is the written pattern um, and I had noticed that petite knits adult version and baby version all go inward but her mini and her junior go outward so I'm like okay like those were obviously tested by other people from the pattern anyway I I was on a spiral okay just let me have that so they did it because essentially when you work the back section it's it goes inward and so in order to keep a very seamless I guess look to where you pick up stitches here you would continue having it go inward but then when you turn it that way it would go it would start going outward so that's I think the reason why they did it like that to have it more seamless but I would have just switched it. I would have just had the back outward and then the front inward. I'm so sorry. We did it. It was, I would say, not as fun to do as the Ingrid sweater. I really enjoyed the Ingrid sweater because it's like different levels. It would be like, you get this one chunk and then you get this chunk and then the next one chunk. This one is like you're knitting the same thing over and over again. Um, and it is kind of tedious, but I think I got into like a weird little rhythm and it got really easy because I did the Ingrid sweater and because I knew how to do the crosses here like these crosses it was really easy like I honestly didn't really have to look at the pattern because like Avi this is just like moss this guy's the same all the time and then the cable so the thing that I used to count were the cables so on like petite knits version she had maybe like 15 or 16 cables in the front so that's how I would use to gauge and that's how I would kind of section off each part to kind of be like, okay, I only have like two more cables to go. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And I would do that for like the arms. And that's why literally I finished each arm in a day. Dangerous. <laughs> so dangerous. But as well, it was like I was playing this weird game with myself or like a weird battle. Like I was finding, I was like competing with myself to see how fast I could do it but also I was also playing yarn chicken so I wanted to be able to finish as much as possible before having to like figure out how much more yarn I needed uh, but I ended up not needing any more yarn so weirdly enough this was enough uh yarn for however money I bought for the Wednesday sweater um but this guy's knit in like four millimeter versus the five for the Wednesday so um yeah I think it's beautiful I will say I tried this guy on and it is a little tighter than I would like I knitted it in the small because there's no way I was gonna knit the medium it was just um too much work so I think I'm just gonna have to stretch it to the gods but I think it will stretch a lot that is what I'm hoping for I'm hoping I'm hoping for it to look like my Ingrid sweater like the bagginess because that guy's really baggy and I want this guy to be baggy but she's quite fitted I could just want this to be like my nice like winter look like imagine me wearing this during Christmas or like my birthday oh it's gonna be so good this in like white pants this with like black pants this looks like a skirt oh my god okay anyway I love this guy I highly recommend I will say I really enjoyed uh, the neckline it's double folded but usually um, with petite knits pieces she'll do a pearl row this guy is just completely seamless and I really like the look I love the look of a nice um, folded collar so yeah sorry I totally ranted on for like five years but this guy needed her moment because I'm not trying it on for you guys because <laughs> it's so hot uh, but maybe maybe I'll do like a 
like a try on something and you guys can see her again because she's amazing. I can hear my voice going already, which is so scary. Other than that, I really don't think I have any more finished pieces. I just was not, I guess it, that is a lot of finished pieces, but you know, I always want more. Things that I have been working on. Okay, this is a very small update. I think this is an update. I don't even know. Uh, it looks exactly the same. This is just my sweater number 16. I caved and I ended up buying the gray yarn for this guy, so we will be able to complete it. Um, we haven't separated it into the arms yet, but we like it. I like the stripe. I think I'll look good in it and we're happy about it. Um, oh, sorry, I totally forgot. I, to I always forget to say what yarns I use. This is Drops Lima uh, in, I think, the white or the off-white. And then I just used, I think, a random Color Mart mohair because I love buying those guys in cones. Um, and then this guy is just the Knit Crate something something in Slate. They were doing like this like clear out sale, like September double down. I don't know. So we got a bunch of like yarns that I needed which I can justify because I need them for pieces that I have been making currently. Um, and then I actually did also use uh, Drops Lima for here, but I might have to change it because I don't know how much I have left. Um, but I have really similar looking yarn from We Are Knitters. I have like a baby alpaca, so I think it'll substitute really easy and be fine because it's a secondary color. Oh my goodness, okay, we totally forgot. Uh, but this is also another finished piece, but these are my little leg warmers that I'm making for the Patreons. Uh, just one of the monthly downloads. It's just really simple. I took some pictures um, that I am going to post, but then I got the vid and then couldn't do anything. So hopefully I can write this guy up really fast um, and then put her up and then you guys can have little cute little leg warmies. I will say... Because I was challenging myself, I really wanted to get this done within 50 grams. So I used 50 grams of Drops Flora in the white, white color. And then I think I used just like a Drops Kid Silk Mohair in also the really white version. And I used literally only 50 grams. So like this would literally cost you like $8. Like, come on. Um, but I really do like the look of it longer. Like I love the look of really like scrunched up like leg warmer um and then I might add like an additional uh like an add-on that you can add to the leg warmer if you wanted to like sew in an elastic band uh like a thicker one because this one I'm just using like clear elastic uh, which I need to sew in um because these guys will slide down I find that they're not like I try to make it as secure as possible but like, given the fact that they're, like, literally below the calf, it's just, like, too hard. It's just, like, too difficult. So, this is another finished piece I totally forgot to talk about, but it's so luxe. Like, wearing these with my Doc Martens are, like, the cutest thing in the entire world. Um, I need to figure out how to style this with other things. And I would love to make a black version. Oh my gosh. If we have some, like, leftover black, I would totally do it. And then... The plan is is to also do like a arm warmer because I think this would be so cute as an arm. I guess technically I could do it as an arm warmer right now, but I'm going to make one that has like a little, I guess, thummy thing and I think it would look really nice. Oh my gosh, this would like, this and like a scarf. Oh my gosh. Other stuff I've been working on. I'm just going to do a little showcase of this boy. So this is the sweater that I'm making for my friend. I really doubt they're going to look at this, so it's totally fine. Um, but I'm making it with uh, Patons or Patons Classic DK Superwash in the color navy. I'm making it with the Hands, hands Home sweater from Petite Knit. This guy... I've also been doing, slowly working on, I don't have enough yarn so we will have to buy more, but I will be hand doing like a mushroom on this guy. And I feel really bad because I'm behind. I was supposed to give this to her like literally in a couple days, but because I had COVID, I don't feel like comfortable giving this to her at the moment. Like I need to deep cleanse and deep wash this guy. I've been knitting this on four and a half millimeters uh, in the medium. In order to try to get it to an extra large without having to knit so much so uh, for now it's been working okay so I don't mind at all she's beautiful we love her okay I think 
honestly I can't tell if this is my last uh, <laughs> my last whip but you know we have so many all the time uh, so you guys were so lovely wanting to help me with the honeycomb brioche in the round it was so funny um, but I think I just didn't have the patience like the first go around to like really do it again so I was like this is hard it's so difficult for me but the second time I did it, it was like seamless perfect I'm amazing no I'm kidding so this is kind of just what we have uh, currently sorry I have it in a really small cable because we got kind of frustrated with the DPNs. I was doing it like one DPN, one DPN, and then a circular needle on these two edges. And it was just like too much. So I'm hoping that this will be a little bit more seamless. I will say I'm not in love. Like even though it's in the round, there's still kind of like a, kind of like an edge kind of thing that forms. And that's probably on me, but whatever it's fine because the rest of the honeycomb is so beautiful um but yeah i'm doing the honey wash bag we're gonna make a collection i'm gonna have one because i've been really weirdly into having like container or like bags i don't know i keep looking online like i want like a first aid bag a toiletry bag bag to keep my pads in, bag to keep my makeup in, you know, like bags like that. And I feel like I just need to make it like bags for my knits, bags for like literally anything. So hopefully this can start like a full on obsession with making these guys. But yeah, this is a wash bag. Sorry, this guy has been taking me quite a long time. I probably should have done the clutch first because it's way smaller, but who knows why. Um, I'm knitting this just with the Sunday... Uh, Sunnyscarn in the gray color and just like a white mohair because I like the look of a white mohair on a gray I think it just gives it a lot of texture to it and hopefully I can make a honeycomb brioche pillow like a bigger pillow compared to the other pillow I had um, in a gray and I think it would be a perfect match together yeah I think that's it for whips if I'm not mistaken I will say I do want to kind of add on to like my fall and winter plans that I really want to make the chestnut dress and like maybe figure out how I can make the marble sweater I love petite knits version of the marble sweater in brown I just think it's so beautiful and just like has so many different like dimensions and layers to it that I think I have to do it um again picture also it's a light being funny oh it totally is oh, I'm sorry I guess that's for the video <laughs> really like how she did it but she used so many different yarns but I feel like it would be really nice if I could like kind of use up a lot of spare yarn or like like just a de-stash I think it would be really nice and um and my yarn supplier has a, a DK weight mohair so I think if I could like dye up a version of it I could oh, live live I could live wonderfully we'll see we'll see I don't know I'm kind of manifesting that I'm putting that out into the universe because we would like to do that but for some reason I just can't really cast on anything just like the thought of casting on something I get like overwhelmed almost so maybe we'll just like work on like old pieces or like pieces that I said I was gonna work on my mom's been helping me with the hazel sweater so <laughs> thank you mother and that's why it's not here but there's really no update either. I feel like you just have to like do the neck and it looks like and the piece will look like way better because like I had just done the body for this guy and I was like mm, I don't know if this is gonna look good and then I knit up I literally did the neckline and it was like we're in heaven so uh maybe for next months we'll have those guys like have the full neck and it'll be a lot more cuter to show. Okay now I'm going to talk about yarn acquisitions or kind of things that I got. I will just quickly, really, really quickly go over what I got from the drop sale pack a sale because they were doing 40% off and like literally everything is sold out <laughs> of Wool Warehouse. So you like, you can't get any more. So you really do have to pounce on those deals. Um, I just ended up getting some drops Lima in black and then just some drops flora in black I just they were so cheap I was like why not uh, I'm thinking maybe doing either another champagne cardi or a cardigan number eight because I think I just want a really baggy 
black cardigan and if I have the time it would be nice to do but I'm in no rush to do and then for the flora I just wanted it just kind of just to have but also uh, I would like to use this with the zipper sweater that I'm planning on making for myself because I want to use a mohair and a alpaca but I feel like the alpaca is too loose so I'm I just want like a little bit extra a little bit more structure to it so those are just some two things we got and then I also ended up getting brushed alpaca silk uh, I just got it in the white color uh, I just bought one I bought this in anticipation for the mohair video that I maybe will do who really knows um, but it was on sale so I just wanted to try one at least and I could probably easy easy peasy lemon squeezy make this into something so I will say it's really nice and really soft it's very definitely like thicker when I think mohair I think she's light she's fluffy she's silky with this guy it's like she's just like a fluffy poofy cloud of like gorgeousness so it's like it's quite a statement versus like mohair when you add it on it's kind of like an addition if that makes sense just real quick uh, I ordered some stuff from Color Mart because they just had some mohair that was like available and I wanted the mohair so we got it um, I just got some black mohair and some gray mohair if you can see I haven't taken it out of the plastic because I have no I guess desire to use it up anytime soon but yeah, really basic. I like that. I love that they're in cones. I love them so much. It's a mix of alpaca and mohair, though. So um, I just really like. I just like to get mohair from Color Mart because they usually do more than the designated grams. So I get like a bang for my buck. So just wanted to show that off really quickly. Nothing crazy at all. I just quickly wanted to mention. Oh my gosh, the light again. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get rid of that glare but I guess it's like it's kind of like a, a moment I'm so silly okay I don't know if I showed this in the previous video so I'm just gonna show it again um, I don't remember which month this was but it was the previous month um, this is just uh, Knit Crate Yuri yarn cotton basic It is in the color glazed it's hundred percent organic Pima cotton a DK weight I we really like this one it's very I think I'm very happy with like the bluey purple that I got it's very on brand um do I know what I'm gonna make with it absolutely not but it's super squishy and super beautiful so we really like that and then they sent me um another one so this guy is the Audine Wools Mellow it is in the color high and dry it's 80% alpaca 20% tensile and a bulky weight um, very nice olive green. I will say, I'm pretty sure they gave me, or they had another mellow that I have. Like, so I feel like if I could dye them both black and, and pull it together, then I can make something bigger. Cause I just, I'm very confused on what to do with this. It's like a hundred yards for one. Oh, sorry. 125 yards for one. So if I can pull up, I could get 20, like 400 yards like almost 500 yards and then I could probably make something of substance so I might like my plan is is to dye up like all of my knit crate yarn and just dye it black so I can like mix it with stuff or use it for like smaller pieces because I really want to make like also hats or like like a penny glove or something really simple like that and I just feel like black is classic and uh, I want to be able to mix it with mohair and so I, like I just don't have mohair for this so we just struggle um, but yeah anyway thank you again for Nick Crate for uh, gifting me these items you can use the code bliss20 to get I think it's 20% off of your first purchase um, but yeah and then I just wanted to quickly talk about some books that I got oh oh and then I should talk about oh my gosh the needles that I got as well sorry again all over the place I barely even know what's happening Again, the light will never go away, but it's fine. I'll just quickly do this. Um, but I bought some books from this website called Book Outlet. I might actually do a haul or a book haul of like just 
fictional books that I've been getting from Book Outlet because they're just like a really great resource I find. So uh, I was really happy to see that Book Outlet also has um, some knitting books. So I just picked up some. They are so cheap. Like honestly, this 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 like retails for like thirty dollars. I got it for like twelve. This is seven hundred fifty knitting stitches. I just wanted like a wonderful collection of just like stitches essentially. Um, I might do like a further in depth video about like all the knitting books I have because there's so many more knitting books I want to get. Like I'm so in danger. Like the Witter Design book is like supposedly coming out in English. I'm waiting for the Knitting for Olive book. Uh, Laura Delgard came out with a book but it's in Danish so I'm like hoping it's gonna come out in English um, there's just so many books I want um, but I also ended up getting Vogue knitting um, this is the ultimate stitch dictionary I just wanted to see kind of what was out there this book was like $20 okay I spent $20 on this book it retails for like 50 Canadian it's just such a good deal I will link in the description you can get $5 off I think your first purchase of $25 or above also like you can get free shipping over like $45 so like already you're good to go um, and then I also got the Vogue knitting ultimate knitting book I just thought I just thought it was I just I just wanted okay Vogue but also I also thought it was like nice like they also kind of look like if I ever get like a dining table this would kind of be cute to put on it um but I wanted to read up more kind of learn more about different knitting patterns I feel like maybe next year will be the year of me wanting to make more patterns by myself and I think this is a really good resource and I can totally make so many cute like lace socks with all these patterns so I'm really excited uh, to try out new things and yeah I'm pretty sure they still have this book available and they have the stitch dictionary so get on it because it's such a good deal like these are so hefty like these are hardcover so good quality if you don't know book outlet they do bargain books so it's has a slight kind of uh like a slight damage to it so either like maybe there's like like the edge is a little crinkled or um the outside layer is bent but it's totally like it's not even something like I would notice and I would much rather uh, pay like half the price for something that looks essentially new like there are no um, distinguishable like errors or like any sort of damage to the book itself um, so yeah definitely go check out my code I freaking love book outlet I've been buying so many I've been buying so many books lately so I will probably be doing a book haul because it, it's amazing yeah I love that my little book collection is growing I just also wanted to quickly talk about some needles that I got recently so I recently just bought some C knit needles sorry they're wrapped around like this so they don't get like mixed up um, but I'm going to do a full like in-depth review of all the needles that I got but I just thought to be more thorough I feel like not a lot of people watch like individual videos but maybe they just watch the yarn corners and I feel like I want to be you know complete and make sure I talk about absolutely everything um, whether that be short or quick but we'll do an in-depth video in, in the future but I just got some DPNs some non-interchangeable C knits they are the shirataki I'm thinking about getting the koshitsus but we don't know yet and then I also just got one of their sets that I've just been holding like this um, I didn't end up buying any of the cases I think I'm just gonna make my own I guess personalized case where I'm gonna try to keep like all my DPNs in one place and all my non -interch my interchangeable and my non interchangeables like I'd like to have them all like designated so I'm kind of thinking of getting like small ones as well uh, for like arms that's I'm not gonna buy it anytime soon we're on like a no buying anything right now ban at the moment uh, oh my god my voice is literally going I don't think I've spoken this much <laughs> in like this week yeah so those are just the needles I'll give you kind of like a review of them later uh, once I've like used them for quite a long time um, but we really enjoy them as of right now <laughs> they have been really nice and knit the uh, Moby sweater with it and it maybe maybe may, maybe that's why we did it so fast um, but yeah like legit literally converting and then I got a bunch of yarns from the Knit City Vancouver um, I'll link the video so you can go check out the haul there because I even though I do want to be thorough I am a little lazy and my throat is kind of hurting um, so you can look at that 
thoroughly and it'll be beautiful and you'll love it because that video is essentially all a haul yeah that's i guess it for this video thank you so much for sticking i feel like it's going to be a little bit shorter but again we haven't been doing much i'm quite sick still hopefully i can get back into the swing of things uh just because i am just getting better at this point um thank you again everyone for the patience but yeah thank you again for staying till the end of this video if you liked it please like subscribe comment put the notifications on so you know when i post because i don't even know when i post and yeah you guys know i'm on twitch i'm on patreon we have the discord i'm on instagram um youtube as always uh thank you guys so much for the support i honestly appreciate it so much and i'll see you guys in the next one bye